The driving force behind CAD Trust metadata platform is the Climate Warehouse program focused on the development of infrastructure for a globally connected international carbon market. The Climate Warehouse is managed by the World Bank and we recently sat down with Hania Darwood to discuss the World Bank's pivotal role in digitizing carbon markets. Well, I'm joined by Hania Dawood, the Manager for Climate Finance and Economics at the World Bank. Hania, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So, Hania, what is the Climate Warehouse and the end-to-end -end digital ecosystem for carbon markets? So, the Climate Warehouse is one of the many things that we're doing at the World Bank to make carbon markets work for developing countries. And this covers everything from at the project level, working with projects to help them quantify and create and generate emission reduction credits that are sold in the market, to capacity building and advice to governments to set up the institutions surrounding carbon markets, and thirdly, to really support the development of global carbon markets infrastructure that are high integrity, that are transparent. It's about using technology such as blockchain to improve traceability and transparency of carbon credit transactions. It's about using open source MRV system, measurement reporting and verification systems, and plug and play registries that governments in developing countries can put together to connect to international carbon markets. And it's also about partnerships. Here we work with UN agencies, we work with the private sector via our partner AITA, we work with governments in developing countries and in, the, in developed countries to really unlock the bottlenecks for carbon markets. So that's what the climate warehouse at the World Bank is all about. Now with successful prototypes like the Climate Action Data Trust, what are the next steps to ensure these tools become standard components of the carbon markets? How do you plan to encourage wider adoption? The Climate Action Data Trust is one of the first concrete initiatives that, were, uh, that we launched as part of our Climate Warehouse program. And what, what it is, is it's a metadata layer that basically harmonizes data about carbon credit issuances and transactions across registries that are scattered all around the world in developed countries and developing countries, and also the independent standards like, Go like VERA, Gold Standard, and ACR. We recently had the UNDP registry connected as well, and through some of our other programs at the World Bank, such as the Partnership for Market Implementation, where we provide this advisory and capacity building on carbon credits markets. We want to make sure that developing country registries are also connected to the CAT Trust. So ultimately, the success of the CAT Trust is really about having momentum and a critical mass that involves all parties, the independent standards, developed and developing countries. And our advisory council of the CAD Trust has members from all these stakeholders represented. And Hania, what impact will these end-to-end -end digital ecosystems have on global carbon markets? So let me start here by giving you a sense of, of what we believe is the potential impact of carbon markets. If we assume that 10% of global GHG emissions can be mitigated via market mechanisms, you're talking about 5 billion tons of emissions. If you assume a range of you know, 15 uh, to $25 a ton, you're talking about 75 to $125 billion of flows annually at, towards climate action. Now, if you think about the 100 billion target that was made almost a, a, about a decade ago, that's a lot of money. And I said earlier, ultimately, why is the World Bank, a development agency, engaged in this? Because we want this to work for our client countries, for the developing countries, for the poorest countries in the world that are most affected by climate change but least c contribute to it. Now, why is a digital ecosystem important? Because we think it can help solve some of the problems that have plagued carbon markets in the past around transparency, around efficiency, around cost effectiveness. So leveraging 
blockchain technologies, as I mentioned earlier, can really allow this clarity and transparency and traceability of transactions. Leveraging AI and satellite imagery can allow us to really quantify emission reductions that are reduced or avoided in a much more accurate manner. So we think that really bringing this, convening and bringing the stakeholders together via technology is really a way to make carbon markets work for our client countries.